Hello, everybody. My name is Harper. I'm a regular shopper at Roberta Store, a high-end thrift shop that sells affordable designers and brands. I often put my creativity to good use by tweaking their original designs. I know how good I looked because most girls and guys at my school often call me the fashionista. I was leaving Roberta's stores with a bag full of clothes when Camilla, the most popular girl in school, bumped into me. Oh my goodness, watch it, Camilla said with a disdainful look. You bumped into me, I defensively retorted, before being interrupted by Guiana, Camilla's bestie, who pointed at the Roberta store's logo in my bags and asked, Did you shop from there? I rolled my eyes at the duo because I knew already where this was going. For courtesy's sake, I simply muttered, Obviously, I'm coming from there. I bent down to pick up my clothes that fell on the ground and placed them back in the bag. Then I heard their mocking laughter. I knew it, Gianna. The school's fashionista shops from a thrift store. How lame, said Camilla. Why are you being so rude? I replied. Roberta stores sell high-end thrift designer clothes and accessories, and I get to spend less and purchase more clothes. It's a win-win situation. Besides, my dad says being rich doesn't depend on how much you spend on clothes and accessories, but rather on how you carry yourself. Sounds like something a poor dad would say, Gianna said. Before I could retort, they both walked away laughing. The following day, I had to present my entrepreneurial project at school, and that was why I shopped so many clothes from Roberta stores. I'd already sketched some beautiful designs, and I planned to stay up the whole night to bring my creations to life. After dinner, my dad offered to help me out. Harper, your sketches are so beautiful. I'm sure one day your clothing line will be successful, he said. My dad made me blush. Then I asked, do you really think so, or are you just saying it because I'm your precious daughter? My dad laughed. (laughs) They are truly beautiful. I've seen how you turn a plain regular polo into an amazing piece. Something Gucci and other designer brands would sell for thousands of dollars. My cheeks grew hot as my father bathed me with his praises. I knew that my designs were original and unique, but I think my dad always exaggerates my capabilities way too much. We continued working until midnight when we finished designing all the pieces. The following morning, my dad offered to drop me off at school. He loaded in the car my mannequins, which I planned to use to display my clothes, and then we zoomed off. When we got to school, dad helped me set up my space before he left. I was really excited until Camilla stopped over. Don't tell me you brought your stupid thrift clothes for the entrepreneurial project, Camilla said. If you have nothing good to say, then get the hell out of here. I gave her a warning stare, but she wasn't frightened in the slightest. Hey, everyone, listen up, Camilla smirked, and I was afraid of what she was going to say next. Yesterday, I saw Harper at a thrift store. Apparently, she's going to sell us some thrift clothes worn by complete strangers. What if the owner of the clothes is dead? Or even worse, has some kind of skin disease? Be careful, guys. After Camilla's announcement, my classmates soon began to whisper among themselves. So does this mean that some of the clothes she wears are also from thrift stores? Alfred asked, trying to get Camilla to notice him. Of course, Gianna replied. They're all thrift clothes. All hail the fashion thriftista, Gianna said with a smug look on her face. Soon our class teacher, Mrs. Bailey, entered the class. She's a petite woman with dark hair, which she always kept in a tight bun. What's going on here? She asked, looking at the commotion Camilla and Gianna had caused. Oh, everything's fine, Mrs. Bailey. We were just excited about the entrepreneurial project. Camilla replied with the fakest smile ever. Sounds great, Camilla. You look all bright and colorful today. I can see really nice business ideas. I must say, I'm impressed. Mrs. Bailey stated while moving around. Soon the presentation started. We were meant to first talk about our brand, the product, the problem our product would solve, and our target audience. I waited patiently until I got my turn. Before I started my presentation, Mrs. Bailey mentioned how much she loved my clothing designs. Thank you, ma'am, I said with a warm smile on my face. I glanced at Camilla and Gianna, basking in their jealous stares. Then I started. Good day, everyone. The name of my clothing line is Her Pal, and we pride ourselves as every woman's friend. We believe clothes should not be boring, and they should be able to lift your spirits, confidence, and self-esteem. As a startup, my mission is to take boring thrift clothes and turn them into designs you will love. I picked a red dress and asked, who wouldn't want to wear this on a Friday? And how about this other one for a Wednesday night at the movies? I asked. I realized the more my classmates looked at my designs, the more excited they were. Mrs. Bailey was particularly impressed. She claimed that my business idea was viable and worth investing money in. Needless to say, Camilla wasn't happy about my success. But Mrs. Bailey, her idea is to sell thrift clothes. I mean, 
who wants to wear something that's already been used by someone. That sounds so poor, Camilla asked. I think it's a great idea, Camilla. We should all be thankful to Harper for sharing her unique talent with us. Not everyone is as creatively brave as she is, Mrs. Bailey replied. I couldn't have been more proud of myself. I proved to Camilla and Gianna that just because I shopped at thrift stores, it didn't mean I was poor. On the contrary, I was rich in talent and creativity. After the presentation, Camilla and Gianna came up to me with an apology. We're sorry for being so mean to you, Harper. We're just jealous because your designs are really good, they said. It's okay, I forgive you, I replied with a smile. Friends? Camilla asked as she held out her hand. Friends, I said as we shook hands. I learned that day that it doesn't matter where you get your clothes from. It matters what you do with them. You can take boring thrift clothes and turn them into something special. It's all about working hard and carrying yourself with dignity and respect. Camilla said she'll talk to her father about my designing talent. He owns a bunch of clothing stores all around the country. And who knows, maybe soon you'll see a Her Pal design line in your favorite shop window. <laughs>